Hello viewers, you are watching Bureaucrat 1 video and today's topic is the revolt of 1857. First and foremost, let's see where the revolt started, when it started and by whom it started. The revolt started in Meerut which is 58 kilometers from Delhi on May 10th of 1857. It was not an incident that happened out of the blue. There were many incidents before that revolt. The first one being the 19th Native Infantry at Bharampur refused Enfield rifle because it used pig and cow fat to grease its cartridges. The second one is the 34th Native Infantry where Mangal, Mangal Pandey fired Surgeon Major at Barakpur. The third one being the 7th Avadh Regiment defied its officer's orders to use that Enfield rifle. The final incident happened a day before 1857 of May 10th in which 90 men in 3rd Native Cavalry refused the greased cartridges used in the Enfield rifle. Then these soldiers marched towards the Delhi and proclaimed Badushah Jafar as their emperor. Now let's look into the reasons for the revolt. The reasons can be summed up as a product of character and policies of colonial rule. Further, when we want to look deeper into these reasons, these can be categorized into five different heads. The economic causes, the political causes, socio-religious causes, the military causes and administrative causes. Economic causes. This was the long-term cause for the revolt. The first one being heavy taxation under the new revenue settlement. So the peasants resorted to money lenders to pay their revenue. And then there was a summary eviction when the peasants defaulted on their loans. And then there was a discriminatory tariff policy against Indian products in foreign market caused decline in their sales and hence their production. And then there was a destruction of traditional handicrafts industry because of annexation of Indian states. With annexation, monarchy abolished and artisans who worked for monarch lost their jobs, which destroyed handicrafts industry. And then there was absence of concomitant industrialization on modern lines that hit peasants, artisans most because neither new jobs were created nor old jobs were preserved. And then the, even Jamindas were not immune to company's economic policy. Jamindas lost their Jamindari rights when defaulted. Unable to work, ashamed to beg and condemned to penury and they are perished in their poverty. Political causes. This was the foundational cause for the revolt. All the greedy policy of aggrandizement of British rule under the effective control, subsidiary alliance and the doctrine of lapse caused the revolt. And then there was a so absentee sovereignty ship character of British rule. All early invaders and rulers of India settled in India and ruled India. But in case of British, they remained as a foreigner throughout their rule. Socio-religious causes British interference in socio-religious affairs of Indian public is a key reason for the revolt. The example being Sati abolition, widow remarriage, women education and religious disability act. Earlier, whoever converts to Christianity loses their right to inherit their property. But this act allowed them to inherit that property. Military causes. British didn't realize that soldiers are peasants in uniform. Their new revenue settlement plan not only affected the peasants but also the soldiers. Soldiers were also discontent on various, various fronts. On economic front, they were not given Bata when they served in Sindh and Punjab region. Annexation of Avad also affected them psychologically because most of the soldiers come from Avad. Hindus consider crossing of seas would make them lose their caste. But then, crossing of seas was made one of the service conditions by Lord Canning. And also the use of Enfield rifle that uses cartridges greased using cow and pig fat hurted their religious sentiments. And also the use of bone dust in aorta also hurted their religious sentiments. 
coupled with long history of revolts for example bengal vellur barakpur and during afghan war by sepoys gave the motivation for them to pursue this revolt administrative causes that led to the revolt of 1857 there were high level of corruption among police and petty officials in the lower courts caused people to revolt against the government now coming to the events of revolt the revolt spread across various geographical centers and various leaders led this revolt in those centers in delhi for example general bakht khan was the de facto leader as bahadur shah jafar was too old to lead the revolt in kanpur nane sahib adopted son of the last peshwa bajay rao too led the revolt sir hugh wheeler surrendered to nane sahib in lucknow begum hazrat mahal led the revolt colin campbell later recovered lucknow from begum hazrat mahal in bareilly khan bahadur a descendant of ruler of rohilkan led the revolt in bihar a zamindar named kunwar singh of 70 year old led the revolt in faizabad a maulvi named ahmadullah from madras led the revolt in jhansi rani lakshmi bai led the revolt with the help of tantia tope ramachandra pandurang tope the she fought for the throne to be given to her adopted son dalhaus dalhaus refused her adopted son to throne after the death of raja gangadhar rao her husband because of doctrine of laps in bagpat shah mal led the revolt the revolt could not be sustained for long the british suppressed the revolt ruthlessly for example lieutenant hudson shot dead all the princes in point blank in delhi bahadur shah was exiled to rangoon nana sahib escaped to nepal and was never known later tantia tope also escaped to central india but was captured and hanged later manikarnika tambe was killed by sir hugh gross kunwar singh bakht khan khan bahadur khan raha sahib and maulvi ahmed ullah were all dead now let's see who resisted the revolt from british side in these revolt centers in delhi it was resisted by lieutenant willobai john nicholson and lieutenant hudson in kanpur it was sir hugh wheeler sir colin campbell in lucknow it was henry lawrence brigadier english henry havelock james outram and sir colin campbell in jhansi it was resisted by sir hugh groks this particular personality is important from the examination point of view in banaras it was resisted by resisted by colonel james neil the reasons why the revolt could not be sustained and also the causes of the failure of the revolt the revolt had very limited territorial territorial extent only one fourth of geographical area was affected by this revolt that too it was concentrated in north and central india and social base is also very less only 1/10 of the population of india supported this revolt or affected this by this revolt the crucial support by certain section of indian public to british authorities especially the big zamindars and modern educated indians uh, caused the failure of this revolt for example big zamindars acted as a breakwater to the storm and the modern educated indians saw the revolt as backward looking a lack of resources with the indians as compared to those of british also caused to the failure of the revolt a lack of coordination and no central leadership at all also led to the failure of this revolt there were no coherent ideology and political perspective to take the revolt to the next level so the revolt failed there are many questions asked about hindu muslim unity factor during the revolt of 1857 For example, Bahadur Shah Jafar was a Muslim ruler, but he was supported by the Hindu soldiers, and there were immediate ban of cow slaughter in entire Delhi. And Nana Sahib had Azimullah as his aid. La- Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi also had Muslim Afghan soldiers in her troops. 
Now let's look into the various analysis of the nature of the revolt. For example, R. C. Majumdar and S. N. Sen said it's not an organized national revolt. R. C. Majumdar said the revolt is neither first nor national war of independence. But then V. D. Savarkar said that it's a war of independence. Eric Stokes said it is elitist in character. Lawrence and Seeley said it's a mere sepoy mutiny. T. R. Holmes said it's a conflict between a civilization and barbarism. A James Outram said it's an, a Mohammedan conspiracy making capital of Hindu grievances. I wouldn't say everything is neither true nor false. But then it can be said as a not quite the first war of independence but sowed the seeds of nationalism and quest for the freedom from alien rule. Finally, the after effects of the revolt of 1857. The crown took over the rule from the East India Company. The company rule was abolished under Queen's proclamation. British also altered the administration of India. The army was reorganized. Now it is 1 is to 2 ratio instead of 1 is to 5. That is one battalion of British troops for every true battalion of Indian troops. And also the racial hatred deepened among Indian troops by calling those section of troops that supported British during revolt as martial race and others not. British also refrained from recruiting soldiers from Avad region and instead recruited soldiers from Punjab region and also the Gurkhas. Thank you.